because they didn't need them anymore. So like people now, you don't speak in tongues now because it's a language. It was a language that people just spoke where I could just automatically start speaking Spanish. That was speaking in tongues and someone could interpret. We don't need that now because people, we have the Bible, we have a full word and, and it's in, we're done, you know? So you don't believe in the gift of tongues anymore? The gift of tongues? Yeah. No, if, if you, I can show you another time, we can go back, but what what would be the gift of tongues? Just, just We believe in the gift of tongues. I'm learning Spanish. I've only been speaking Spanish for mm -hmm. 10 months. Mm -hmm. So the gift of tongues is just, is not being able to immediately start speaking Spanish. It's being able to slowly have the ability over time. And there's lots of times where I've been in a lesson, because we, we only teach Spanish. You're, you're our first English. Oh, wow. and there'll be times, and they'll be, they'll be saying something, and normally I would have no idea what to say. Sometimes it'll just kind of click for me, and I'll be able to say what I need to say. We believe that's what the gift of tongues, being able to recall what we've learned, even though we forgot about it, and to help us in that moment. That's what we believe the gift of tongues, not as being able to just fluently speak a language. One thing I learned from Peter one time, never deny, deny, tempted to catch amnesia sometimes, never deny, deny, even when my faith will come a crime. I never deny, deny When I confess I put my neck on the line I never deny, deny And they didn't need the powers anymore Because people that's actually true. believed that they was from God But to that's say true. that's a, But to say the authority was gone And it disappeared forever That's the dangerous thing Because I was like Yeah, see, for when you said the authority was lost That's where we agree with you mm -hmm. It's because without the authority they don't have well, no, they don't no. have the power to do miracles if they don't have the authority from God. I would say, no, the power to be speaking in tongues and the power to do miracles mm -hmm. because they didn't need that. They didn't. They still had, you had the name. You had the name who you was coming in. You was coming in the name of Jesus, which was already proven because they seen you do these miracles. Once the people seen and believed, and that's what the Bible, the Bible even says, they're not going to last. They're going to be gone. Because they didn't need them anymore. It's like people now, you don't speak in tongues now because it's a language. It was a language that people just spoke where I could just automatically start speaking Spanish. That was speaking in tongues and someone could interpret. We don't need that now because people, we have the Bible. We have a full word and, and it's in, we're done, you know? So you don't believe in the gift of tongues anymore? The gift of tongues? Yeah. No, if, if you, I can show you another time we can go back, but what what would be the gift of tongues? Just, just We believe in the gift of tongues. I'm learning Spanish. I've only been speaking Spanish for mm -hmm. 10 months. Mm -hmm. So the gift of tongues is just, is not being able to immediately start speaking Spanish. It's being able to slowly have the ability over time. And there's lots of times where I've been in a lesson, because we, we only teach Spanish. You're, you're our first English. Oh, wow. And there'll be times, and they'll be, they'll be saying something, and normally I would have no idea what to say. And sometimes it'll just kind of click for me, and I'll be able to say what I need to say. We believe that's what the gift of tongues being able to recall what we've learned, even though we forgot about it, and to help us in that moment. That's what we believe the gift of tongues. Not as being able to just fluently speak a language. But. Mm. I think that's the few the instances in the Bible, Acts 2, the day of Pentecost, they spoke in, 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 in 1 Corinthians um, 14. Paul goes through what the gift of tongues is. I don't know if you guys have time now, but we can go through that because I think you would be able just to speak. Stand up. He will know Spanish. You won't know Spanish. You start speaking in Spanish. Then he interprets what you say. And then that, what you said, should encourage the whole body. It should be for the whole body. So it should be instant time. And that's what they say in the Bible happened. And what, what verse? Just so I can, just so I can read um, later. Acts, Acts 2, even 4 to 14. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other, uh, other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And they were, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem, these devout men. If you read that, the 14, it said, and then they actually named the, the tongues that they were speaking in. In verse 8, they named the tongues in the language that they were speaking in. Okay. And then even in, in, in yeah. 6, yes. in 6, it says that every man heard them speak in his own language. It was a language that they were speaking. It was immediate. Mm -hmm. But we'll have to get back to you. Yeah, let me know. But I, I need I want to know more about the, the priesthood and to understand that. You're gonna have to text us some of these questions, okay? Just okay. so we can just so we can remember, yeah, and but, then help you prepare for a little better so you understand more, right? Okay, but we, we, we we've been 
we we've been looking through the Bible a lot mm-hmm. for your answers, but we mm-hmm. encourage you to be reading the Book of Mormon as well, mm-hmm. just so that we can. Because uh, we, we, we believe in the Book of Mormon mm-hmm. as well, because like every, we believe the Bible to be the Word of God. We also yeah. believe the Book of Mormon, and so I guess we just want to leave you with our testimony that mm-hmm. I, I know the Book of Mormon is true. Uh, I've prayed about it. I've read it many times. I've read the Bible and I've prayed about it. I know it to be true. But I also know the Book of Mormon is true. I know they complement each other. You know, I know that Joseph Smith saw God the Father, and I know that the correct gospel of Jesus Christ was on the earth. Do you want to add something? I, I believe as well that the Book of Mormon is the Word of God. And as, as I came to know with this, like the truthfulness of the truth of uh, the Book of Mormon, at the same way you can know and everyone is used by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, we can know the truth all the time. So, my invitation is for you, and I just declare that. So, because we, I'm, I have you back speaking in English, so mm-hmm. we would love to answer your questions. Maybe we are not the, the right missionary to teach you in the language you speak, but we can refer you to the English elders and they can give you more answers. Like, did you have a hard time understanding, keeping up? Kind of, mm. kind of. I guess, I think the only way we can teach you is if your wife comes along. Mm-hmm. It's just so that it's still considered a Spanish lesson. Yeah. Because we're required to give all the English people to the English hmm. missionaries. Yeah, let me... kind of a bummer, but... Yeah, let me get back to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just text us. 